was watching Steen Fat Aquatics the other day and Danny was on and they were talking about plants and they were talking about how they just kind of buy plants and then kind of if it dies or grows and they kind of work with it and they were pretty casual about the whole thing. Danny seems to have acquired uh, quite a bit of knowledge <laughs> about how to take care of specific plants. Um, but I've, I've always liked house plants and I have them at work but I don't have them at home because I have a cat, I have a dog. And I kind of have more of that generalist attitude of houseplants where I just acquire them and figure them out later. Um, and I don't know enough about them to know which ones are poisonous and which ones are okay to be on cats and dogs. So I just didn't buy them. Um, and now that, I don't know, they, they were talking about it and it kind of just got me curious. And they were like, didn't they didn't want to put it out there like which ones to buy because they didn't want to be responsible for it. I don't blame them because someone's pet gets like that's serious business. Um, but I googled it and parlor palm and spider plants seem to be acceptable. Someone told me that, uh, someone uh, on my TikTok told me that spider plants are actually a uh, hallucinogenic for, for cats though. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I got one. <laughs> I picked this up at Home Depot and then I picked up this palm here as well. So pretty excited so far. So far the pets have left them alone so that's awesome but um, it's still like March in Detroit and so it's it's cold and gray still and so um, yeah, I need a way to get light to the plants. So I bought um, full spectrum warm light bulbs and a lamp. So we're going to set that up today. I have to figure out where because this room is tiny. These are the light bulbs. I've never used them before, but I'm going to put one in my ceiling fan that is as old as this house. And uh, I'm gonna put one in the new lamp. Hopefully it doesn't explode. At least I got it on camera. Well, so the thing I like about the full spectrum warm light, um, and I'm glad it looks like that, is that it um, still has the full spectrum uh, but it looks and shares light just like a regular warm light bulb. So, um, so then I could put the lamp there and it would shine down here, like with the plant there. And Obi is watching the fishies. He likes to do that. And um, that would be a good spot. It's not in the way. Well, it's in the way of my books though. Hmm. I'm also gonna be putting the lamp on a timer. That way there's a full, you know, probably give it eight hours, see how it does, um, of like sunlight in this room for the plants. And uh, yeah, we can always adjust that. Okay, time for unboxing. Get this thing put together. Screw the tubes together. Just wish I had more plastic. Not going in all the way. Good. Let's screw this thing. Secure the lampshade with the fixing ring. That means do this. Right. This one here. Boop. Oh, 
Okay, I have a timer. We'll use that. Boom. Okay, it's all plugged in. This is going to irritate me. Okay, not the best, but it is hidden. Okay, so there we are. The lamp is all assembled and in its place. Um, I kinda don't like it being in front of the books, but really helpful when I sit and read. So yeah, I think it'll work out. I'll get that thing programmed and it'll start coming on for about eight hours a day. See how that works. And uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Wonder what it looks like if that's the only light on. Yeah, that's not bad. So everything's set up and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I mean, it's been minutes, so I'm ready to write that review. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll let you know how long I keep these things alive.